Hi everyone, so in this video I want to go over some of the perfume oils that I purchased from Land of Oz. If you don't know, Land of Oz is a small business that they sell or they're known for the perfume oils. So they have dupes or impressions of other scents. So for example, they have Bath & Body Works. They have designer perfumes like Kaoli, Killian, like they have Love Don't Be Shy. But I was specifically interested in their Lush section. So I picked out quite a few. I think I got six. And then one scent, I got two different types. So they have perfume oils. Their smallest size currently right now is the 10 milliliter spray on perfume oil. You're not supposed to use it with your clothes. And then they have the dropper as well. They have the two ounce body mist. So the 10 milliliter perfume oil spray retails $9.95. And I believe free shipping is on orders minimum $75. But okay, let's go on to the scents. So the first one that I was interested in that I got two of, let's see, where is it? I didn't really separate this too well. Let's go on to Ylang Sandalwood. So if you can tell right here, this is their 10 milliliter spray. It does say 10 milliliters do not spray on clothing. And the reason why is that since this is an oil, it might stain your clothes. So if you want better control, they also have the dropper oil and that is in the one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. Initially, or as soon as I opened up my package, I got a whiff of what I believe to be the 29 High Street dupe. And that is true. This is basically the strongest one out of the bunch. This, if you look at their website, it's called Ylang Sandalwood, inspired by Lush 29 High Street slash Kiss Me Quick slash HQ slash Aubergine. So it just has the different names that have come out in that scent family. And it is described online as woodsy and floral in one great fragrance. For the quick notes that it has, Ylang Ylang Sandalwood, Lime, and Tonka give life to this beautiful fragrance. All right, so straight off the bat, this is my favorite one out of the Lush dupes. To me, or on me, it lasted about eight hours, and I believe it's very accurate. So if you don't know, Lush is, or 29 High Street is supposed to smell like a Lush store. So depending on when you shop at lunch, lunch, Lush, it has a different scent. So for example, when I got into Lush, it was around Christmas time. So typically around Christmas, they have a lot of citrus scents, citrus soaps, bath bombs and stuff. So this doesn't really smell like Lush when I got into it. For example, 2023, they had a bunch of Snow Fairy products. So it might have, um, the store smell might have smelled a little bit different because obviously there are more products in a sweeter, like Snow Fairy scent. The 29 High Street smells like a good mixture of sweet, yet the florals, then you have some earthy greens in there as well. And to me, I get more of the fruits and less of the citrus in this particular perfume oil. So I have tried another 29 High Street dupe from another Etsy shop. I'll try to link it up if I remember. Um, but I do want to note that no one noticed or made a comment or commented on my scent. However, I could smell myself, which I did like. I mean, I don't really wear perfume or fragrance for others to compliment. That's nice. That's a good add-on. But as long as I smell myself, I like it. And it lasted me a good work day. All right, so like I said earlier, it leans a little bit more fruity and green on my skin. So I know that I believe the 29 High Street had jasmine and ylang, ylang and lime. The lime adds a little bit of brightness to it, and I do like those florals in there. I know it has sandalwood and maybe tonka bean, but I didn't really get much of that besides it just adding that added sweetness to it. And then at the base, I want to say it also got like a little bit of like of a honey or caramel note. But on my skin towards the later part of the day, it did lean a little bit clean. So I think that's coming from the green notes. But overall, I think this is a very good dupe of it. It smells also very similar to the other 29 High Street dupe that I got. So yeah, overall, really like it. 10 out of 10. And I would repurchase this again. I wanted to purchase also the 2 ounce body spray but I was really hesitant because I know body sprays don't have a lot of lasting power so I think I'm going to get the perfume in the other Etsy shop that sells Lush dupes however if Land of Oz ever comes out with a perfume that you can spray on your clothing I will definitely get that all right next one let's go to the Sultana of Soap dupe and that is Apricot Current 
So on their website, it was listed as Apricot Current inspired by Lush Sultana of Soap slash Bewitched slash Blackberry. And it reads an incredible fresh clean scent with notes of bergamot, apricot, and slight sweet currant notes. So if you don't know, sultanas are basically dried fruits. However, I don't get a lot of like, for example, if you were to open up a bag of raisins, I feel like it smells sometimes a little bit like dirty and it doesn't lean too sweet. This smells actually very sweet with a mixture of clean. So it didn't last as long as the 29 High Street dupe, but I really enjoy the clean scent without it being too green or too soapy. And I like it that there's a slight powderiness to it. And I think that the sweetness comes from the dried fruit, but yet at the same time, it's very creamy. I'm assuming that is from some type of like vanilla mixture in there. And then despite the fact that I think the original Sultana of Soap has a lot of blackberry, currant, um, apricot. I don't get a super prominent fruit where it would, where I would say that it would lean fruity. Uh, it's definitely not like a kiddish or like a Bath and Body Works scent that is fruity. So overall, I think this is a very clean yet creamy scent. I really like that added sweetness of the dried fruits. However, I do detect a lot of the apricot. I think that's the predominant fruity note that I'm getting instead of like a bitter blackberry. And then on my skin, it lasted four to six hours. So slightly less than 29 High Street. Okay, for the next one, let's go on to American Cream or the American Cream dupe. So this one is called Sweet Dreamer, inspired by Lush American Cream slash Frosty Gritter slash I Am 10 slash bosom buddy slash American pie. This one says layered with vanilla, milk, and white honey, strawberry, and citrus. It is accented with notes of lavender, benzoin, and clary sage to give the sweet notes of earthy death. Okay, this one is close, but I feel not quite right. In my opinion, it lacks that clary sage and the benzoin note that adds that added sweetness. I feel like I get more of the lavender and less of the strawberry and it smells almost slightly synthetic and i don't know if it has citrus the original one but i detected a little bit too much in this particular dupe however i want to note that when it dries down it's more similar to um, the american cream that i know i specifically uh remember Amer the american cream scent in the hair conditioner before they changed it to the self-preserving formula so also to make a note, depending on what form factor the scent is added to, it might change it ever so slightly. Like for example, American cream in the perfume is going to smell different probably from the bath bomb, different from the shower gel, different from the soap, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. This one, I wouldn't recommend it though. I feel like it's just slightly off the mark. However, this one lasted about the same as Sultana of Soap, so I give it four to six hours on my skin. But all right, let's go on to Honey Cocoa. And oh my gosh, I wish I had the massage bar, but it's been a few years. So to read it, it says Honey Cocoa inspired by Lush Soft Coer, a delicate but addicting blend of raw honey, chocolate, and cocoa butter. When I smelled Soft Coer, it was, I don't know if it was during the Valentine's Day, but it was when the massage bars had different shapes. So this particular one was shaped as a heart. and besides it being like five years, let me describe the scent that I smell here. And then maybe you can compare it if you have a better idea of how soft color smells like, but it is heavy on the cocoa butter. So the first note that I get is that cocoa scent, then a mixture of chocolate and honey. And there's a slight note in there that makes me think that it smells a bit artificial. It's probably coming from the chocolate note. And I get a little hint of cinnamon that I don't remember smelling before in the massage bar. However, it very well could have been there, but I just didn't notice it at the time because right now I don't really like cinnamon at all. So I'm a little bit picky with my cinnamon or spice scents. And then also despite cocoa butter being listed, I get more of a powder cocoa instead of cocoa butter where it's creamy. And this one lasts about four hours. So this one, I wouldn't repurchase it. However, it was nice to test it out again. However, I don't get that same reaction where I'm like, oh, this smells exactly like the soft coer scent that I remember from Lush. 
Okay, next one, the one that I think everyone's interested in, we have Save the Date. This one says, inspired by lush, sticky dates. This fragrance combines the irresistible scents of honey, dates, rich caramel, syrup, vanilla extract, and molasses. So this smells similar for sure. However, this one is definitely sweeter than the original and it lacks that almost burnt toffee note that I detect in the original. So right now, I currently finished my Sticky Dates shower gel. Here it is, the empty bottle. But I do have the Sticky Dates in a new bottle that I still have yet to open. And there's just something so complex about this that is just really hard to replicate. If you don't know, I placed the order for the Lush X community where Sticky Dates came out in a body spray. I have a whole video describing because I'm in California, my order got canceled and I wasn't able to purchase the body spray of Sticky Dates. But I have a feeling that that would smell a little bit more like how Sticky Dates smells in the shower gel opening. So I haven't smelled Sticky Dates that comes in the co-wash or in the body lotion just because I don't necessarily need it right now. But if I compare it to the shower gel, this one is definitely more caramel heavy, less burnt toffee smelling. And I want to say that it almost is an exact match to another Sticky Date Stoop that I've tried. I'll also link that up in the cards if you want some more details. That one was a perfume spray, so I was able to spray that onto my clothing. But I do have to say that this lasts a long time. Um, it lasts about six hours on my skin. It just doesn't really project as much. For example, that 29 High Street, like I could smell it without getting super close to my arm where I... Uh, rubbed in the perfume oil, whereas this one I had to get a little bit closer. However, would I repurchase it? Yes, because I really like the feel of the perfume oil sprays. A lot comes out of it though, so you might only need one pump and then just kind of rub that all over your arms. So for example, one spray for me is able to cover from my wrist to my elbow for both hands. Lastly, we have Sunkissed Cocoa and that one is a dupe for yuzu and coco it says inspired by lush yuzu and coco slash tulip this fragrance is wonderful complex notes of yuzu coco mingle with tonka bean coconut bergamot and orange to make a bright spicy scent that is unforgettable so i'm not sure why it says a spicy scent because i didn't really detect much spice at all to me this smells very much like orange cream like an orange creamsicle with a touch of cacao. So the tonka bean really shines through and I don't remember if the body spray smelled more of chocolate, but I definitely get like a 70% yuzu citrus mixture and a 30% cocoa. And unlike the soft coer dupe, where that one, the soft coer one smelled slightly artificial, I would say that the chocolate note used here smells a lot more natural and realistic and this one also lasts about six hours and i can smell it it doesn't i feel like none of these perfume oils project that much besides the ylang sandalwood which is the 29 high street dupe and this one i would repurchase it again it's very lovely and so here we have all of the lush dupes displayed in order from my favorite to my least favorite so we have ylang sandalwood i would repurchase that apricot currant would repurchase it. Sunkiss Cocoa would repurchase it. Save the date, I would repurchase it. And then the two that I would not repurchase, we have Sweet Dreamer and Honey Cocoa. So I would say a lot of these are spot on. More specifically, the ones to the left. So Ylang Sandalwood, so the 29 High Street, the Sultana of Soap, and the Yuzu and Cocoa one, spot on. Save the Dates is very similar, but you can still smell that it's inspired by the Lush scent. So slightly less of an exact dupe. And then we have Sweet Dreamer, which I can get that lush hint, but it just falls slightly short. And so I wouldn't repurchase it because I have another dupe that I like slightly more. And then last place, we have Honey Cocoa, which is inspired by Soft Coer. I don't think, or maybe I used to like the scent more and now I don't, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And I think I'm going to stop looking for dupes of Soft Coer. I've already tried another small business and i also didn't really care for it so it could just be that my tastes have changed but yeah let me know if you have any questions and i hope you have a great day okay bye